D-Day veterans from around Wisconsin will gather in Madison tomorrow for a ceremony marking the 70th anniversary of the historic World War II battle. Tonight, Jeff Alexander brings us the story of a Hobart man still haunted by that day. Just shy of 90, Bob Reiner still loves the game of golf. In early June, though, even golf is hard for Bob to enjoy. I hate this time of the year. I hate it because of the memories I have. I used to love spring because spring meant life. Now it has a different connotation. Bob grew up on a farm in Rochester, New York. After the attack on Pearl Harbor, he joined the Navy. By the spring of 1944, Bob could sense he was about to be a part of a massive invasion. You know, most people don't realize that before World War II, there was no amphibious Navy. None whatsoever. And from 41 until 44, they built an amphibious Navy the likes of which the world has never seen. As a Navy man, Bob learned his job would be to transport troops to shore and keep them supplied with ammunition. On June 6th at 3.45 in the morning and 10 miles out at sea, Bob's landing craft headed for the beaches of Normandy. What was going through our mind was what the hell is going to happen next? As the sun came up, Bob couldn't believe what he saw on the water and in the air. There was an invasion fleet. It looked like you could have walked all the way back to England and never even gotten wet. There was a black cloud approaching from England. And as it got closer to it, it wasn't a cloud at all. It was aircraft of all kinds. There were hundreds of them. Within seconds of reaching shore, Bob says the beach erupted in gunfire and explosions from U.S. planes overhead and German troops on land. I don't know how the hell anything withstood the bombardment that that beach took. It was shelled, it was bombed. Bob's crew spent the day stocking the beach with ammo and equipment. At one point, a lone German fighter plane zeroed in. There we are, naked as a jaybird, strafing the beach, no cover. You hit the sand and you hear those damn bullets it's just pounding all around you. When it's all over, you, you can't believe it. By Christmas 1944, Bob was back home. A job as a Coast Guard recruiter brought him to Green Bay, where he eventually started a construction company and served two terms on the Brown County Board. Seventy years later, Bob says D-Day is still vivid and haunts him because of all the bloodshed. More than 9,000 Americans were killed or wounded. As a survivor, you think of all of those men cut down in the prime of their life. It tears my heart out. Here I am, 90 years old almost, living a rich, full life. These men were denied that. They fought and lost everything. Jeff Alexander, Action 2 News, Hobart. Make sure to join us Sunday morning as Bob and other D-Day veterans share their emotional stories in an hour-long documentary, They Fought for Freedom, airs this Sunday at 11.30 a.m. right here on WBAY-TV2.